This video is going to show you how to use Google Forms to gather information and register people for different events. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have a Gmail account and once you're logged into that you'll simply click on this apps icon it's nine dots and then click on drive this will pull up your Google Drive as you can see I already have several forms here but we're gonna create a new one and click on forms and then this screen will pop up and it has a lot of different things for you to edit uh, you'll title your file this is going to be a short color survey. First, we're going to ask the simple question, what is your favorite color? And you'll type this right here in the question title field. Uh, you can also add additional text below to help explain the question. Now under question type, you'll be able to choose several different questions. I'll be choosing text for this question, and it's what I end up using the most in these forms. As you can see, once you've finished your question, you can edit, you can duplicate the question, or you can delete the question. Uh, for this survey, we're going to duplicate the question, and instead of asking for your favorite color, we'll find out what your least favorite color is. And that's all I have to change on this question. And we're done. You don't even have to save. On Google Forms, they're automatically saved. So we're going to change the theme and you can choose from these preset themes and you can edit them. I usually change the header image to something that I want uh, but I won't for this uh, video tutorial. Um, if you click here on send form it will give you several different ways of sharing what you just created. By default it shares the full link but I usually shorten the link and you can embed this link into your website. You get the uh, HTML code and you will copy that link if you want to use it and then click done. And as you can see, if you go back to your list, the survey is the form that you created and responses is the file that's created when people submit the form. Uh, as you can see, there's a timestamp and the two questions are in separate columns in the spreadsheet and it will populate as people submit their forms. To use this, you'll want to go to File, Download As, and then I usually choose Microsoft Excel. This will download the spreadsheet that you can use to do a mail merge within Microsoft Word. Now I'll show you on our church website, uh, I've already implemented this for Superstart. If you click the Superstart link on our church website, it will pull up the embedded form with the updated header image, a description of the event right below the header image, and the form that they fill out and submit. And once they've hit submit, it will populate the spreadsheet. I hope this has helped you see how you could use Google Forms.